Welcome to the Greybeard Chronicles podcast. Your hosts, Brian Halstead and Kevin Harkins, are two gray bearded patriots who love God, their family and friends, and their country. The gray beards are here to inspire, inform, and educate you on a myriad of topics they are passionate about. Brian and Kevin have a strong desire to share this with you to help you live your best life. Sit back and enjoy this amazing podcast as the Greybeards pass along the wisdom of the ages. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Greybeard Chronicles. I'm Brian Halstead. And I'm Kevin Harkins. And Kevin, we're here to pass along some wisdom of the ages. What the heck does that mean? We're not perfect, but we do have gray beards, and that means... We've got some significant life experience, some life lessons, and some perspectives that are worthy of passing along. Well, I think that sums it up nicely. Let's get to it. Kevin, what's going on, buddy? Happy Sunday morning to you, Brian. Yeah, yeah, we're mixing it up a little bit. We're we're not, uh, not on our normal recording schedule because tomorrow is Halloween and there will be other festivities going on. So yes, there will be recording on a, on a Sunday morning, Sunday morning. Are you living your best life? Absolutely. Okay. I don't even have pants on right now. (laughs) Okay. And there's a visual. It's going to take you. We just, we'll let other people go there, but I won't. Um, Yes. I look forward to hearing what people have to say about that to you. So what's going on, man? How, yeah, uh, just, how's your just, weekend so far? Enjoying, uh, enjoying Sunday morning. Woke up and uh, had a good night's sleep and drinking coffee instead of other things, which I'm enjoying very much and uh, ready to. It's cold though. It's down in the 30s. It's getting yeah. winter's on. It might have been might have been a little frost out there this uh, this morning. Kill all the bugs. Yeah, literally uh, this time of year, there's some frost on the pumpkin, as the saying goes yes there is absolutely yeah cool all is well all right so what are we talking about today in this remote setting that we're in the 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 technologically remote setting well um we're talking about what we're not doing right now (laughs) yeah right yeah indeed how was that how was that for lead-in uh your topic I mean, I'm happy to give the title, but uh, you have to introduce it. All right. The, title, right. Is, the title is "Stand Up," and uh, I uh, we may have we may have taken a different tact on this, you and I, and that's great. Uh, we may not have. We might have been perfectly aligned, but yeah. So first, I have to share the story on how we ended up with this title, right? So okay. we, uh, I made a list the other day of several different topics that we might talk about in uh, in some shorter recording sessions and we when you and i were were meeting the other day we uh we were uh working on deciding what we we're going to talk about today and i think it was your suggestion that i just randomly uh point on the on the list and so we didn't really pick this title um i guess fate uh, did. yes fate, fate did. and opportunity and the universe picked this title today this title stand up and I, you know, it's, it's certainly something that, um, you know, I wrote down, so it was on the list and, uh, you know, what it means to me is the importance of, um, it, well, it's, it takes on a bunch of different meanings and I'm, I'm, you got me thinking now about how we might come at this in different directions, but it, it takes a bunch of different meanings for me. And, um, you know, some of the literal things when, when I think about stand up, I, I, I think about things that I was taught, um, as a young person and, and, you know, young adult, the importance of standing up when you shake hands with people and you, uh, you know, you, you see that happen periodically. Somebody will walk up and somebody will be sitting down and the person that's sitting down stays sitting down and shakes somebody's hand. And I, I was always taught that's not, not appropriate. Right. So you stand up, you stand up to shake somebody's hand, you stand up for the national anthem and, and render appropriate honors. Um, so, you know, it, 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 one of the aspects of stand up, takes on for me is the whole idea of respect and acting appropriately in, in certain circumstances. And then it, um, you know, takes a, a whole nother life in, in the arena of, you know, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in, standing up for your values, 
uh, standing up for other people who may not be able to stand up for themselves. Uh, you know, it, it, I think that's an important thing. Um, certainly being able to stand up for yourself and, and what you believe in and, and be willing to put it out there, you know, don't, don't stay silent. Uh, I, I think that, um, you know, bad stuff comes from that when you, uh, when you stay silent and you don't voice your, your opinion and how you feel about things and stand up for what you truly believe in. I really like, um, <clears throat> I really like the topic. I really like that it has multiple dimensions to it. Right. And uh, to, to just bounce off a couple of things that you said, the one is this whole idea of respect. I completely agree with you. And, you know, I'll just add one thing to the list. You said, stand when you're shaking hands, stand when you're out to dinner um, and somebody walks up to the table to chat with you. I mean, you probably can sit right back down, but you stand up and you say hello to them and you greet them properly. You stand up when a lady comes to the table. Um, all of that kind of stuff, for me, I think sends a message, it just propagates a message out there that chivalry is not dead, that uh, common courtesy is good, and um, respect for the person that you are uh, talking to and talking with, the fact that you stand up to greet them. I think that's just really, um, really powerful at communicating. Yeah, and I, and I also understand that sometimes that's physically not possible, right? So you might be sitting at a table that's got a bunch of people and you're in a position where you can't really, you know, stand up and walk out to a, a space where you can fully stand and, and, and greet someone. But it's, uh, you know, it might be a, a half stand, you, you know what I mean, where you, you at least come up out of your chair as far as you can to, to shake that person's hand. Right. Uh, you know, it's, it's the intent of, of that gesture, I think, is what matters. Yeah. Yeah, and let me share with you a couple of thoughts I had as I was pondering this over the last couple of days. You know, one of the things that we really um, value in life are things that are unique. And we've talked about that before in several different instances. And if you think about the people and if you think about the things that we really appreciate, there's something about it and about them that are, that are special and have these unique characteristics. And so when we acknowledge that and we take the time to really think about what it is that we're appreciating about it, then we can much more powerfully stand up to appreciate it. And, and now let me take it one step further. Uh, stand up for yourself. You said that. And a lot of people are so busy trying to be someone that they're not. They're so busy trying to match the crowd that they're running with. They're so busy trying to uh, conform to the, to the inputs that the world is giving them that right. you have to conform to this particular type of behavior or you have to like this type of product or you have to watch this type of movie or TV or you know whatever it is. Right. And, and they're so busy doing that that they sort of forget who they are. Who yeah, are lo you? Losing themselves in the process. Yeah. And if you take the time to really stop and think about who am I, what do I stand for? And when people challenge you with that, or if you're not quite sure, and you then you take the time to realize who I am and study it and think about it, and then stand up for that. Stand up for who you are. And again, there are so many times that we've hit on this topic from a variety of different directions, but... I love it when I meet somebody who's truly different and unique and there's something about them. And every, and the thing is, everybody's unique. Right. So, there's absolutely no one on the planet like you. Right. Yeah. You, you are your own unique being and you need to stand up for who you are. What who you, you are, what in, you like, what, what you, you care about. about. Yeah. Live your life. And, yeah. And, and speaking of unique um i you know the united states of america is a unique country it's a, it's a unique experiment that continues on to this day and taking the time to realize the history and the meaning and the contribution and the power and the goodness that comes from america yeah america is not perfect but it's pretty darn good compared to what else is out there and when you take the time to acknowledge that then you stand up when the national anthem plays with pride you really do um so that's another aspect to it. It's all, you're right. There's so many things that this brings to the surface. And, and I think it's, I think it's good to be reminded of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, just, just standing up for, for our values in general as a country, 
um, and, and what, what made us who we are today. And, you know, one of those things going back to that word respect is, you know, we had respect for our fellow human beings. And I think that has, has steadily been eroded away over time. You know, um, you know, I'll take this on a political um, tangent for just a second. You know, the, um, the, this random attack on uh, Paul Pelosi, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter how you feel about um, his wife and, and her political uh, opinions and activities and so on. Somebody uh, going after him or her or, or anybody uh, that, that's in a capacity like that in a, in a physical way to do them harm, that's just wrong. Yeah. Um, there, there need to, you know, there need to be some boundaries there. And I think as a society, though, we've created uh, a, a situation where stuff like that is being tolerated. When you have um, the the situations that occurred earlier this year, where you know people are protesting outside of the homes of uh, uh, Supreme Court justices and and other legislators, and and no action is being taken against them. You know, we've we've let that that respectful nature of our society and the way we conduct ourselves be eroded away. And, and we need to, for, for those of us who care about it and, uh, and want to see that different, we need to be willing to stand up, stand up and do something about it. Stand up and let your voice be heard, stand up and object to this behavior that's being allowed in our society today. Stand up and be a good citizen. Yeah. Right. And, and treat everyone with respect and dignity at all times, whether or not you agree with them. You know, let's have a common dialogue. Let's work it out. Let's find the common ground. And yeah, when when something like that happens, and you're right, it happens so often today that anything can happen. It doesn't matter what it is. And all of a sudden, one political party is blaming the other political party and said, "If you, if you didn't exist, this wouldn't have happened." Kind of thing. Yeah, um, that's not that's not civil discourse, and that's not um, standing up for uh, respect and dignity for other people. So yeah, goodness, rightness um good citizenry that's something to stand up for and i agree with you completely yes indeed there you go so that's a reminder for you um yeah. sweet you know short and to the point stand up stand up for what you believe in stand up for what's right stand up for uh, who you are yeah absolutely yeah all right well, that's what I wanted to say on that subject. Yeah, me too. That was perfect. I loved it. All right. Well, then I guess it's time for me to do this thing then, right? It is. It we're is. keeping this short and sweet today. So I'm going to, yeah. I'm not going to stand up, but I'm going to reach over here and hit this button. Yes. And remind all of you that are listening, no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, make sure between this podcast and the next, you take time to enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. Yeah, this is the technology issue. Okay. That's fine. Thank Great. You Makes it real. Please subscribe so you'll receive notification when new episodes are available. To learn more about the Greybeards, visit their website, graybeardchronicles.com.